What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 124 update. This week we got some optimizations and we get a new operation. We also get some news about Leica that's coming next week and about the pet bundle. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 124 brings optimization and operation to the game. They've changed how they pack files and speed up weekly patch downloads and added a new operation to check out. They also have the Pets Bundle available for pre-purchase, and you can pre-purchase it for $20.08 currently on Steam US. Includes three items, and that is the Creatures Comforts DLC, the Pet Companion DLC, and the Zebra Rescue Mission, and we'll go over all those as well. These are the three DLCs coming to Icarus soon. They say welcome to week 124. The week before Leica, they're introducing a new system for packing the game files, so it's much faster or better optimized. They've also released this update a day early, Thursday morning for us. And they also released a new operation for sticks, Genesis Recovery. Let's hop in and have a read, shall we? Let's start with the new operation, and that is Genesis Recovery. This mission requires you to head to a research station and take care of some of the local wildlife before hatching a strange new egg. We also have a new creature in this operation that you're more likely to see in Icarus in greater numbers in the future. So you can see here in Sticks, we got a new mission. Uh, and the new mission is going to be located down here in the bottom right corner it's called genesis recovery and it's locate and retrieve a living bio sample things haven't been running smoothly down there for them they've been losing teams equipment and resources in this mission, you could go and find the status of the creature research site in the desert region and collect any of the surviving eggs hatch an egg and escort the creature to the Cinetai retrieval pod on hard hardcore you get 700 ren and 200 exotics and on normal you will get 350 ren and 100 exotics for this mission and it is a 10 hour mission you and i have got your back just don't disappoint them once you load into the mission, you'll notice there's an objective find the status of the creature research site in the Desert Ridge, and you need to go down here in the bottom right of N13 to this section right here and get up there and check out that research facility. Now, we're not going to spoil it for you. We actually are going to stream this this Friday coming up, so if you want to check us out doing this mission for the first time and checking out the new creature, which is most likely this thing, then come watch us stream Icarus for the first time in a while, and we'll be playing the new Genesis recovery mission we're also going to take a real quick look at the icarus pets bundle and what it consists of this is a dlc companion to the free leica update and adds three different dlcs here that we can see the bundle is currently twenty dollars and eight cents if you purchase the pet companions pack and the creatures comfort pack dlcs then you get the zebra rescue mission for free which is a new mission you can play we're going to take a real quick look at the pet companions pack and play the first two videos here. I'm going to show you those real quick. This is of uh, the orange cat that you can get in the pet companions pack. So you can get the multiple types of animals that you can't get with just the free Leica update in the pet companion pack. One of them being a cat. There's also the dog one that we actually kind of took a video from Rocketworks there that they released. So you got dogs as well got different variations of cats and different breeds of dogs here shepherd that's all the pet companions packs so you get multiple different types of pets all kinds of different animals that you can get with the dlc it looks like it's going to be really nice to be able to get all kinds of different pets and check them out with that new dlc coming out so those are going to be the new pets that you can get and down here, it gives a full list of what everything is going to be in this pack. We're going to have three new cats, four new dogs, and three new horses, like we just showed you. They are workspace animals, which means you're going to buy them and bring them down with the OER and unpack them. Of course, we'll show you that in full detail next week. And here's a full list with all the names of the animal companions in this pack. Additionally, we have the Creature Comforts pack, and there's a little short video of a wolf kind of getting snared here and the new snare that they added. And it can't move now. Then it also goes on to show, it looks like a buffalo bed or pet bed with a nice lantern next to it. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure. I guess that's another bed. Maybe a fountain. Another bed. Maybe it looks like a, some kind of feeder as well. And this one's going to consist of all this. It's going to be nine new animal beds, three new water troughs, three new food troughs, eight new saddle designs, and one alternate chicken coop design. It also lists the different types of animal beds, and it goes from burlap, heated, royal, wolf skin, snow leopard skin, regent, striker and Tenaris, jaguar and buffalo, black tusker, and zebra. And then we also get different saddles, it looks like, which is bear hide, deluxe leather, croc skin, sandworm, desert tracker, arctic explorer, and racing saddle. There's also a food troughs, which is the rustic metal and glass food troughs, and some more water troughs, which is stone, metal, and ordnance, and a red chicken coop. So when these come out next week, we're going to go ahead and I've decided to go ahead and purchase them. I will go ahead and buy them this time and show you guys and do a video on them individually and show you exactly what they are. And then, of course, do an update video also next week. Also this week, we got the patching optimizations and having to reinstall Icarus completely. The core reason for this week's update was for the patching optimization. You could postpone patching optimization. You could do so through the temporary branch that they've added on Steam called 2.1.26. So patching will be more efficient in the future. You will need to re-download the entire game of Icarus as mentioned before, but after that it should be much better, much faster, and more optimized patching. Also, the size on the disc will be reduced which nowadays is actually pretty nice because most games are huge so if you want to switch branches you can right click on icarus and go to properties then go to betas and you can actually choose so we got the 2.1.26 the build before the patched optimizations that you could choose once you choose that it'll go ahead and patch it i'm not going to do so so i'm not going to switch from mine but that's how you go to the patch before the optimizations if you need to and of course patching from now on will be much faster so that's really nice also next week will be the Leica update and for those of you who haven't read the previous patches they're adding new food troughs water troughs carts and everything else is being added to the game also new animals are being added and there's a leveling system for animals now and they have their own talent trees animals now have a custom system in space and can now be taken up into orbit and brought to other prospects just like workshop gear also they have even more that they're saving as a surprise for next week so keep your eyes on their social for even more teasers so we have the change log we're gonna go over to change log really quick let's skim over the new content section they did mention the dribbo eating and water and basically everything else in the new content section is for the mission or operation this week let's check out the vix section so it looks like they may have taken out where if you move around it does the weird comfort thing that's really it in the fix section just a few other little things here and there We'll skim over the future content section. They talk about the mini hippo, the dog pole, and the reaver. Cats will purr. And they talk about the boar, wolf, and hyena bait items. They are talking a lot about the pets, basically adding all the pets and what the pets are doing. So they're working a lot on the pets before release. Talking about the seed plow also. We also added a build stairs half thatch assets to the project. And that's it for this change log. And thank you so much to our late night crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, Rod Knob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Fubar, Chris, Gamer Joe, Sky Reaper 1, Metal Storm, Valiant, Fabio, Anthony Starr, Micah, Wild Wizard, Harry Muff, Sam Police, Lawfinator, and Tyler. Thank you so much for being a part of Late Night Crew, for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to our supporters as well. And that's it for this video. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribe, and we'll get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.